Didn't miss much there. A lot of wind. Just knocked over the camera. expression of like we don't like it we want to get rid of it this is the, the public sphere this is the public platform and i have no problem with that it just, I can, like, I, like i said eventually someone's gonna have to clean it up you know what i mean they like it or not it's it just it would, Say stopping somebody from chopping grass in the mountain is pretty good. So it's one of those things when you're an independent person filming, you don't get. I didn't get to move the camera around to get the best shots for you guys, but I'm sure you got all the audio the gist of what was being said. serve time for their sentences or being thrown back in prison for not supposedly making up things about other people but none of this is good man and so this is the state house this is uh supposedly the most powerful house in new hampshire like as far as uh, legal power shared with some other groups there's also And uh, maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow or in a few days if it's still nice, I'll get down to the Fed compound and do some chalkings down there. Because, um, yeah, those federal employees, those are the people that are directly responsible for holding those people. I'm Garrett. Garrett. Um, Garrett from Free Concord. Garrett from Free Concord? Yeah. Is that first name Garrett? Yeah. Oh, it'll, it's easy to find if you just look me up. Yeah, you can Google it. So that, that security guard just came out and asked, like, yes for my last name, too. Google it, dude. I don't need to give you everything. You need to let me Google that for you. But, uh, but yeah, it surprised me because I, I thought I had seen this guy at other, like... Maybe 420s or just, I feel like other events where there's been lots of Liberty people at once and I feel like there has been shocking, but I feel like the, the security guard guys have never really bothered us before, at least not for many, many years. I'm recalling uh, 1420 where we were shocking over um, behind me over there, like where the gate is, behind uh, Webster here. 
and security came out and he like called the state police and the state police didn't want to come down. I don't know who the guy on the, he was on the phone with. It sounded like he said hello to George. Um, but I don't, I don't really care who he's talking to, whether it was state police or other security people. I think he said it was a supervisor or something, whatever. But that's funny. It, it's interesting. I haven't chalked in a while. And when I do the different reactions I get and the different people that take different opposition to it. And uh, it's funny. Here in Concord, it's always an authority figure. I don't think I've gotten much resistance from just a regular citizen from anything I've chalked. Um, in Keene, it was always a civilian civilian person with like a state uh, that really took offense to whatever it was that was shocking. So I guess this one is a threat since the guy was like, somebody's gonna have to wash it away. I, I don't know if he was saying he personally like wants to wash it away or something. I didn't get what he was saying, but let's get a nice good shot of it before we go, just so we know it's there. It's a good one that people coming in and out should be able to see. And of course, anybody who goes that way will see the ones. So let's just take a walk that way. That way. I feel like the ones down here are least at risk. I think the one time I've seen chalking get washed away here, it was there was some sort of military event. And, uh... This was when they were doing the border patrol check. Don't trust the feds, don't talk to the feds. The feds, the feds, the feds out of NH. And that stuff was washed away before the big military thing that was here. But that was also around the same time as the uh, hurricane affected Puerto Rico. And so the military was doing like fundraiser things for Puerto Rico here. So I get why. They would have washed it away then, even though I don't want them to wash my stuff away. Because, like, they're representing the feds and they're trying to do their charity stuff. But they could have left the uh, opposition with free speech. They didn't need to get rid of it. It's a little bit easier to see now that the, the angle of the sun has changed. Somebody doesn't like it. It looks like I'm just seeing it now. Somebody crossed it out. Or they put. It looks like a cross through the Chelsea Manning and an X through this one. But very unoriginal. No war on truth. They didn't cross that one out. So they want a war on truth. Or they don't oppose no war on truth, but they oppose freeing people that are victims of the war on truth. I see. At least if I interpret that by what they did cross out and what they didn't. Or maybe they just ran out of yellow. You can barely see it though, the original messages of course stand out, we clear.